On board the IS there is a toilet which has several attachments. As there is no gravity in space, liquids do not flow, but accumulate in floating globules. To counter this problem, there are hoses which are used and provide pressure to suck the fluid from the body. Each astronaut has their own personal attachment. When a toilet is not available or the astronaut is on a spacewalk, the astronauts use MEX, maximum absorbency garments, which are diapers that soak up all the waste. They are effective for short missions, but have been known to leak occasionally. NASA is aiming to develop a suit which allows for long term spacesuit usage and complete independent disposal of human waste. On the moon missions, there was no toilet, and the all male crew had condom catheters that attached to the penis, and the fluid was fed to a bag that resided outside of the suit. According to a 1976 interview with astronaut Rusty Schweikert, the condom catheters came in three sizes, small, medium and large. Despite the practical advantages of having the right size, the astronauts often ordered the large ones, and this resulted in a leakage of urine in the suit. To combat this, NASA renamed the sizes as large, gigantic, and humongous to appease the male ego. There has yet to be an effective female equivalent developed, something NASA aims to change for the Orion missions.